this I can say to you as young people we are part of a church that has an amazing history of standing up for justice not just in the past but today and I've been honored to see it firsthand and this lived experience has helped shape my understanding of being Christian along with people who inspire me like you know Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and others who I've read and it's helped me to realize as Dr. Cornell West says Christianity is a religion of love but it's justice that is love in action. Again, we are a religion of love, but justice is love in action. And if we really love our neighbor as ourselves, then we have to fight to build a society where that neighbor does not have to work three jobs just to pay the bills, where that neighbor is mocked because of their accent or discriminated against because of their sexuality. We must fight to build a society where that happens never again. the thing that fascinates me is you see the prodigal in this story he's pretty clear he knows he's not good enough for the father's love and the elder sibling is so sure he's good enough that he's earned the father's love and they're both wrong grace reconciles human beings to one another and to God and it all comes from God if you believe your dreams are coming true then your dreams are coming true we do with our church right now? The UCC, as I said, has a great tradition. But folks, let's be honest. Facts are facts. The church is getting smaller every year. Churches are closing. Some people say the church is dying. And let me be even more honest. In many places, this is not the most youth-friendly church. Many times, congregations are dominated by older folks. The music is not engaging to young people. And so much time and money is spent keeping open these old buildings which aren't doing that much youth and use in our community. And many people think, you know, the end is in the cards for the United Church. But I look here, and I don't see an end. I look in this room, and I do not see a dying church. I see hope, and I see the future. But let me be honest. Whether the UCC continues or not, it'd be nice if it did, but whether it continues or not, the gospel and Jesus' word will continue. I guarantee you that. So the question is, can we use this church for us and our generation, can we use this church to be home for the gospel for ourselves and our peers for years and years to come? Because as I said before, it's great to be spiritual, but having a religious community to nurture that spirituality is important. So what do I say to young people? I say it is time for radical action. In your home congregation, push for change, and if you don't get permission, do it anyways. <laughs> <laughs>